what's up y'all welcome back to the pilot car life channel um i want to go over something as far as the as the new mexico permit is concerned i don't know if i mean i don't know if y'all if you know this or whatever but you have to have a new mexico permit new mexico does require a permit but in order for you to get the permit what you have to do is you have to go to the port of entry or the way station, whatever you want to call it, and get inspected before you can escort a load through that state. So in other words, like I was doing a load to um, California. So what the what the driver had to do was stop at the uh, at the truck stop or whatever, like at the border of Texas, like at Anthony, Texas or whatever, and then you go over to the port of entry port of entry and get inspected so and it only it's only it only takes probably about it's, it takes about 15 20 minutes that's it well i went at night so it, it you know what i'm saying it really just depends you know well it didn't take me long it, it took me about 15 20 minutes or whatever and they're gonna want to see your driver's license your insurance and registration or whatever then they're going to make sure that you have like a uh that's your, your amber light they're going to check your, your sign your uh fire extinguishers uh, safety triangles and uh, what else just you know the stuff that you're supposed to have I know they check my tri safety triangles make sure I had three of those they check make sure I had a st store stop pedal make sure I had the flags make sure I had oh yeah two way radio amber light and stuff like that so yeah just the stuff you're supposed to have triangles amber light two way radio store stop sign fire extinguishers that's what they're going to check for uh, but also go to uspilotcar.com and it'll let you know exactly what you need to have but I know for sure go to go to uspilotcar.com but make sure you go and get inspected before you escort a load through New Mexico because they will get you you know I didn't I didn't get got but I didn't find it out to the last minute that you have to have a uh, permit for that like I said I'm new to this so I didn't know this so also you got to have a permit for Louisiana as well and uh, so make sure that you get the Louisiana permit and there's a trick to this that I didn't that I just found out but basically like if you can't get insurance because you know you got to have a you got to have a general you got to have a commercial insurance or whatever you gotta have a million dollar policy or whatever, but they also acquire a separate policy or whatever. But basically, you just you, if you can't get that insurance or whatever, you just let you, you just let Louisiana know and they'll, they'll give you the, they'll go ahead and give you the permit. So basically, you just tell the guy or whatever you know I can't get the permit, you know, in my state or whatever. My state does not allow me to get the permit. And they'll, they'll go ahead and give you the permit. I didn't find this out to the last minute as well. And I ended up getting the Louisiana permit as well. So like I said, I'm good for every state right now, except for New York, because I have to get their certification. In Pennsylvania, I think they require two million in, uh, worth of insurance. But for Louisiana, like I said, as long as you have the, um, the regular insurance, the million dollar commercial insurance, not regular, but commercial insurance, the million dollar policy because Louisiana they only require 500,000 of each but I have one that's you know I have one million dollar policy or whatever because I wasn't able to get the other insurance or whatever and that's what I told the guy on the phone and they let me go ahead and get the get the permit without getting the other insurance that Louisiana require because like honestly I haven't been able to find it or get it you know so basically you just tell them it you know whatever but I wasn't lying about it I was telling them, you know, what my situation was. So what I'm saying is tell them the same thing. You know what I'm saying? This you y'all know what I'm trying to say. Uh yeah, man. So yeah, it's easy actually it's pretty easy to get the uh Louisiana permit as long as you got regular I mean as long as you have the commercial insurance with the million dollar policy or whatever. Because I'm telling you, if you go through these states they checking for that, man. Like these these scales. They are actually checking to make sure that we have our, uh, they're checking to make sure you qualify. They're going to check for your certification. Like I got checked in Colorado and Oklahoma the same day. 
They made sure I, I was certified. They made sure I had, I had the proper insurance. You know, they you know they make sure you ain't no fly by night company. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna check your insurance, your certification. They gonna make sure you got all your safety equipment and everything. So yeah, if you out here trying to run state to state and you ain't and you ain't qualified, they gonna show up get you. And I'm telling you, them fines is thick. It ain't like no regular car. You get pulled over in a car, you get like a 300, 400. Nah, these fines start at twenty five hundred dollars. And you better not get caught out here with no insurance, with the proper insurance, without the proper insurance. They gonna, uh -oh. huh, baby? Mm -hmm. It's gonna get ugly. It's gonna be ugly for you. You gonna mess around, especially if you just not starting out. That's not a good idea, especially if you starting out. Mm -hmm. Shut you down before you get started. Shut you down before you get started. You mess around and go go under real quick. Yup, cause you got some, you got some out here. I know some, a few floating around that don't have a proper. And I'm like, hey, it's a slippery slope. You know what I'm saying? You get caught, you out of there. Oh, uh, not only that, an accident happened and you don't have the proper insurance. And that's another bad thing. You don't want to be part of an accident and not be properly insured or properly certified or whatever. I mean, they, I mean, when you take a load, they're gonna, you're gonna have to send your information over to the broker or to the truck driver, or whatever. And they're gonna pretty much make sure that you properly, uh, that you have everything you're supposed to have at the same time. I'm just saying before you because before you before you get out here and try to you know do your thing or whatever just make sure you are properly insured especially you know had the right amount of insurance make sure you uh had a proper make sure you had a certification i had a washington i live in texas but i had a washington state certification so make sure you certified make sure you got the proper insurance because you will get put out you will get you will get a big old ticket put out of service or whatever so like I said, they, they treat these, they, you know, they they, they 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 cracking down on these fly-by-night companies. So that's all I wanted to let y'all know. And uh, make sure y'all stay tuned to the next video. And I will talk to y'all soon.